this is the kind of attack Donald Trump could uh, could expect. I mean, can he just say basically, you know, I, I don't have much foreign policy experience. I'm not an experienced politician. I am who I am, but I know what I know, and I will surround myself with the greatest, you know, foreign policy experts. Is that sufficient? Well, I think the best way for him to do that is to start getting those foreign policy experts into the game. And I think if there's one thing that Trump has, uh, Mr. Trump has failed to do uh, uh, as well as he might have in the last week or so, is to start putting out the names of some of the folks that he is going to rely on. But I, I suspect between now and uh, the convention in Cleveland in July, that will be coming forward. All right, let's, uh, let's put up a, a very interesting tweet that came out earlier today. Um, much anticipated, perhaps. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll let you uh, use your words. But it's from Paul Ryan, who said, I'll be voting for Donald Trump this fall. I'm confident he will help turn the House GOP's agenda into laws. A, a does this matter? And, and Or maybe I should reverse it. A, what made him realize this right now when he didn't realize it a week ago, or at least he wouldn't say it a week ago? And B, does it matter much? Well, it, it all matters. And, and it all is, is an accumulation of, of people that, that will be coming forward. Look, I, I committed to vote for the Republican ticket from top to, bo top to bottom. I'm going to vote for Trump. But, but part of the process is folks like Paul Ryan, who have serious responsibilities, trying to make sure that on policy issues there's some uh, a, a agreement and some consistency with what will probably come out as the Republican platform in July. So I can understand Paul trying to, to take it step by step. There's no, you know, there was no timetable of, of uh, or time pressure to do it immediately.